So now that we've got that sorted, we're not going to run into any errors later on in our program. Update count doesn't need to uh, take anything for now, um, but we need to make user IP global for this function. The first function we're going to be working on is the update count because this is probably the most simplest. All we need to do is run a function to grab the value, um, or a query rather, to grab the value from the database. We then need to grab this or add one to this and then insert it into the database or update uh, the count field. So let's go back to hits count so we can work with this. So count at the moment is equal to zero. So the first thing we're going to focus on doing is grabbing this value. So let's create a query and it's just text for now. We're going to run the query in a moment so we can uh, see if the query's worked or not. So I'm going to say select count from hits count. That's it. So let's put these in with apostrophes around them so we can see it better. So now we can run the query. So query run equals MySQL query, remember we're using this function and we're just putting the text that we've defined our query up here. So this um, query should work because we know that it's working. So let's run the page. Uh, let's first of all call this function. Okay, um, let's go back to our page and see if we have any errors. Okay, we don't, but I want to, do, to make sure we don't run into any errors, so I want to say if, and I'm going to enclose this in uh, brackets, then we continue. Okay, if not, we want to say die, and we want to say, um, in fact, we won't use die because this can sometimes interfere with the template of your website. For example, if you were including this at the top of your website, you're not going to want to kill the rest of the page just because the query is not working. So for now, we're going to leave this out. At the moment, we've, we've just got an if statement. We haven't got an if else statement. So all we're doing is we're saying if this query works, then run it. Otherwise, just be silent. We're not going to say anything to the user. Uh, but we could test it for now, I suppose. And we could say die um, and then we can put MySQL error in there and this is a great method for debugging as well if you're not sure about your queries and you want to add this in for now let's say you uh, were to add say an extra comma in there or something and to refresh um, you get the error back but like I said before if we get rid of this and then we put an and just before this um, an at sign sorry just before this and we refresh we don't get an error back we're just silent about it um, so let's get rid of that now. So presuming our query has run, we've checked that our query's run, we need to get the value returned from this query. And we can do this using the MySQL result function. So I'm going to say um, count equals MySQL result. Now there's a few arguments we need to pass through to this. The first one is the query um, that's been run, so that's query run. And the second one is the row that we want to receive, uh, get the uh, value from. Now obviously we've only got one row and we're only ever going to have one row. We're not inserting more than one row, we're just updating this single row here. So um, remember this is the row here and this is the field name down here, the column. So row and column. So we've got count equal to zero at the moment. It's on the zero row. So the first row is the zero row because remember we start at zero when we're counting. So we've got zero. Um, so we type zero in there. And lastly, we need to specify the field uh, name, which is count. So I can just write count in there. So now the value count, this, this here, is equal to zero. So let's echo count out to see what happens. So update count function is now going to um, give us a zero back. So let's just change this inside of our database to make sure that everything's working. Let's just give this a value of say 21. We can go back to our page, refresh and we get this value back. So we know that everything's working properly. Uh, let's just change this back to zero. Click go. Okay, so back to zero. Now that we've got this count variable, we can create a new variable called count inc, and that is going to be equal to count plus plus, oh, sorry, count plus one. Otherwise, we could say count plus plus, but for now, I just want to create a new variable to keep things simple. So count inc 
equals count plus one. So now what we've got is we've got the original value, which is zero. Ooh, let me just click back to here. We've got the original value, which is equal to zero. Then we've got the um, new value, which is uh, equal to one now because our original value is zero. So now what we need to do inside here is perform another query to update this value. So again, we say query, you can say query to or query update equals. Um, so we're saying update um, count. Oh no, sorry, we're saying update hits count set count equal to um, and this is just going to be our count ink value so count ink so um, we can also enclose this in um, single quotation marks so update hits count to so update this table that's not enough information now we need to say what we want to set so we're setting count which is equal to let's just go down this here set that this value to count ink which is now equal to one because we've refreshed so now we can run this query so query update run equals mysql query remember we require this function to actually process our query so just doing this isn't enough so uh, and that is query update and now we can use exactly the same structure here and we can say if and enclose this in brackets if query update run equals so if that is uh, if that runs then we're going to echo out okay for now but we don't actually need to do that so um, I mean eventually we're not going to need this if statement uh, we just need the query update um, and we can put an at sign in front of it but for our purposes now we're going to check if this query has been um, successfully um, executed so let's go back to our table and back here so we know that we're definitely on zero so our count is on zero at the moment now with everything I've explained this should when we refresh the page call this function we're calling the update count function down here and it should update the value um, and increment it by one so let's refresh and we've got an okay value back here let's go back to um, PHP my admin and click browse and you can now see that count is equal to 1